Well, it's first weekend I've had uh, where I'm not doing something. Uh, two weeks ago, I was on the road. Last week, I was at the Florida Van Life Gathering, and now this week, I'm at the, uh, and I'll be here for a few weeks, at the KOA uh, here in uh, Stark, it's near Gainesville. Originally, I was planning on kind of um, actually thinking about going to the Natural Museum uh, that's in Gainesville. I was thinking about doing that today. Uh, but I kind of slept in a little bit. I was kind of tired. Um, actually, I was up late because I was trying to upload a video um, and my internet connection is kind of lousy. So it took a very long time. And so I didn't kind of waited up for it to finish. But anyway, um, so and it's raining out. And when I looked at the weather report yesterday, it said thunderstorms, possibly severe threat of tornadoes. And so I thought, well, I'll just stay here today. You know, I can go Sunday because uh, I think I think the weather should settle down by then. Um, so I thought I'd take the opportunity at the kind of clean up the van. Uh, need to clean out the fridge and kind of dust because it gets it always gets really dusty, you know, from driving and I guess just, you know, air circulating, whatever. It gets dusty in here. So, so that's what I'm doing today. Just cleaning the van um, and organizing, I guess, because you always got to do that. Got to keep things organized. Um, because it is a small space, uh, so one little thing and <laughs> it feels like a mess, but that's what I'm doing today. See, I don't know if you could see that, but that's what I mean by it gets dusty. So I just kind of wipe down the tops of everything, you know, wherever dust can kind of settle. up my kitchen just in time to make a mess. Uh, I made myself, in 10 points if you get this reference, lupper or liner. <laughs> um, but yeah, I made, made a meal and I uh, had these in the freezer. I kind of cheated, didn't make any meatballs from scratch, but um, they're actually pretty good. It's the first time I've had them. And then I cook some pasta. This is the only pot that I have. Uh, I had, for a while I was carrying a bigger one. Um, and I think, I don't even know if I used it once to be perfectly honest. And I got tired of moving it around because it had to go up here because it didn't fit in my drawers, which I keep all my pans down here. Um, so I thought, well, the easiest way to cook pasta in here is to buy small pasta. And by that I mean, I have they're, these are mini, I don't know how you say that. Barf. Anyway, well, you can read it. <laughs> and then mini penny. So that worked out good. So I just look for the little mini pastas. Cooking my little pan. But uh, yeah, so now I'm cleaning up from that. Probably going to do some editing. Um, doesn't seem to be raining like they, like it, I thought it was going to be a downpour all day and it hasn't really been that. I think there's only really been one little shower that I've heard this afternoon. That's it. Um, but it's cool, which is nice.
twinkling. I haven't heard any thunder or lightning, no wind, like all the things that I was expecting. Because in Texas, it gets real sometimes. <laughs> say though when we get storms at least where I am in North Texas they're pretty quick they're intense but it's usually like a thin line that comes through and then once it's passed you know within an hour sun's out this jar of sauce and I don't have room up there to put it so I, know, I might have to stick it in here made me move a bottle of liquor storage cabinet um, a little light in here uh, you could take the shelves out if you wanted to hang clothes in here I use it as uh, storage this is like all my medicine I have you know my allergy prescription stuff and then of course I have like band-aids first aid you know all the little q-tips all that stuff is in here fix here's everything um, and then I have a problem with my shoulder, so I've got plenty of that. But yeah, little things like that. I've got liquor up here, because <laughs> you gotta have that. Um, actually, a couple of these bottles, a little souvenir from Florida. Um, light. I kind of inherited, like this tequila. Uh, I inherited this from the uh, fan gathering. Uh, the orange liqueur, which actually, tip from Mesa Mike, um, it's a two ingredient old fashioned. I got a really good old fashioned recipe from the bar I, or the brewery that I was at, that Harvest Host. Um, it was so good. But it had rye, bourbon, orange bitters, and um, spiced cherry bitters, which I can't find the spiced. Well, I could probably get them on Amazon, but they're going to take, you know, I either have to have them at the center of the hub or wait till I get home, I guess. But where I was going with that, so his recipe was you just use bourbon and uh, the orange liqueur, and that makes you old fashioned. So, and it actually tastes the same. It's really good. Uh, have a little blender. I tried to take out all the appliances I wasn't using but I did keep the blender with me because I thought well it might be something I could use I haven't used it yet but this is the base so you can see it's pretty small um, so I'm trying to see if I can make room for my spaghetti sauce I use these little things oh, oh, I forgot I had this other bottle of wine nice is a Cabernet that was aged in a bourbon barrel. And I have all these like, oh, what is this? Little, these little things. So I keep them between the bottles so they don't rattle and clank against each other while I'm driving. And then this is because these are little drawers and it works great, but it's happened to me twice where I thought this door was shut and it wasn't quite shut. 
and it came open and these came flying out which uh, when you're driving and you hear the loud crash <laughs> behind you it's not a not a nice thing because it sounds a lot worse than what happens but uh, anyway this is a mead that I got from um, that winery I stayed at, that Harvest Host Winery um, in my last video, uh, or in my other video, I don't know when I'm posting this one, but uh, anyway, it's a spiced mead, it's really good. Um, <clears throat> and I've got a port back there, and then this is uh, a bottle of bourbon <clears throat> that was actually mine. Uh, that got also from a harvest host. So let's find a place for that tomato sauce. I'm going to stick this in the back. I put this little, it's a rechargeable light. It has a magnet. I put that up there. These little kind of lights, I've got them all, all different variations of rechargeable lights with a magnet all over the place because they come in handy. Let's see. I think I can get that. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what do I want to put in next. Just keep that there. Let's put the tequila here. Let me put something in between. Not elegant, but it works. Back there, and I might have a glass of wine. here so stuff doesn't fall. Of course my little souvenir. Well, that's one of my stores. You see I do that because yeah I don't want anything falling out. <laughs> 